to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. Here's the latest seafood news for the week of October 14, 2013. We'll start the week with a quick update on the Canadian Johnson Strait Chum Fishery. The first of two scheduled gill net openings closed with poor harvest results. Packers report low catches and strong prices driven by the fresh market. Fresh prices range from $1.75 to $1.90 US per pound FOB. Fish sizing has dropped in comparison to the same fishery, which may be an indication that the larger male fish have entered the river, being followed by the smaller female fish. Skin color has dropped slightly from silver bright to semi bright, but is still reported as excellent quality. There's another gillnet fishery scheduled for October 15th. We'll give you further updates as the fishing continues. Staying on the topic of salmon, we'll take a look at Atlantic salmon from Norway and Chile. Norwegian supply has increased over the past four to six weeks as expected. September and October are the highest production months in Norway and usually the lowest prices. Prices dropped with the increase of the production 10 to 15 percent initially but quickly turned around. Inventories of frozen product leading up to the production increase were very low. Large importers, retailers and secondary processors were not holding inventories in anticipation of the price drop. The resulting demand was much higher than expected and prices increased the same 10 to 15 percent. Norwegian supply is strong but as long as demand continues prices will not be dropping. Norwegian salmon will see little to no growth going into 2014 as increased supply would require the issuing of new licenses which contradict current regulations. Chile is facing strong demand for frozen product as well to the point where there are at maximum capacity for freezing and still not keeping up with sales. Fresh prices out of Chile dropped 20 to 30 percent in recent months while frozen prices remain strong. The considerable difference between fresh and frozen pricing may lead to processors and importers flying fresh fish to North America for freezing. Chilean supply is expected to grow as we transition into 2014 and approach March and April, which are the highest volume production months in Chile. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson by Smart and Eat More Seafood.